Hi everyone, it's Jeff Underwood and the Ugly Truth About Money. And you know what? I want to share a quick story with you about what's happening with our states uh, here in the U.S. And, and what I mean by that is financially. And what I want you to understand is that right now our government is in conversation with states about the possibility of bankruptcy. And what I mean by that is um, this would allow a state to default on pension obligations for retired workers and current employees. So think about this. This would allow states to go through a bankruptcy and the retirement plan that's supposed to be there for those state employees would be on the chopping block. That means teachers, highway patrol officers, and other government employees even some, and you well know this because you probably have family members or friends that have worked for these state governments, some that have probably worked for the government for decades, 10, 20, 30 years, and relied on the fact that they would have a pension plan for retirement. So let me get this straight. So the government and the treasury, uh, they're saying, and, and these states are saying that we're going to stand by our debts, okay? That's kind of the message that's been out there, even though the debt ceiling continues to uh, to have to be raised, and I'm going to talk about that later this week, but um, they say they're going to stand by their debts, except for the actual workers that put in their time and effort to make things better for these states. I just don't get the logic behind this, um, to turn your back on someone that put in so much time and effort to make the states what they are today. You know, it, it wasn't the employees' faults that these states were running their financial situation into the ground. Um, it, it's just like the big banks on Wall Street. I mean, they built something up that's so massive that one little thing could cause the whole, the whole financial system to crash. And that's what we're seeing in these states right now. Again, I don't agree with them wanting to do away with pension obligations. Um, the, the issue is they just can't figure out how to fill that void. Now, I think maybe they should look at cutting some of the programs, the state-funded programs, before cutting all the employees. That's my take. Now, not only are states looking at trying to somehow get out of some of their pension obligations, but they're also looking at cutting workers across the board this year. I mean, there's some major, major issues in these states. Texas is already saying, proposing that, that it may have to shed upwards of 9,300 jobs. Um, Georgia looks like they're saying that they may have to cut up to 14,000 jobs. New York um, is saying upwards of 10,000 plus freeze some of the salaries. You've got California that's going to have to make some decisions. Nevada, Arizona. These are states that have to make some major, major decisions to, to lower salaries, freeze salaries, shed some jobs, get rid of employees, obviously, and try to make decisions also about their future pension obligations. Now, the information I shared tonight on this video uh, came from CNN as well as came from the New York Times. Uh, both of them have been reporting on, on the state job situation as well as the pension programs that may be slashed. So anyway, I, I hate to share that kind of information with you guys, but you know what? That is the ugly truth about money in America right now. So follow me in 2011 as we go through these tough economic times.